Welcome to our podcast, Gusso, where we build positive vibe through storytelling, reminiscing the past, and sprinkle a little tops of the present to help mold the future. We are your hosts, Miss Christine Middledaughter Julia. And this is Miss Sonia Washbelly Son Sean. Welcome to Gusso. All right, family, it's detox time. Today, to tea or not to tea. So, the type of tea that we we'll drink in Jamaica. What kind of tea you drink today, Sean? Well, right now I'm drinking Milo tea. <laughs> <laughs> Milo. I mean, I want to knock me. I mean, I want to knock me. <laughs> if the thing said no, go so ask on the grandmother and she will yeah. tell no. <laughs> what kind of tea you want? People eh? still drink Milo tea. Yeah, people still drink Milo tea. You know, see Milo selling in the supermarket in my pair. I know the real Milo, yes. like back in the day where you used to tea for your mother cupboard and lick off your hand and all these things. I know Milo then? Because the Milo, the mommy said remember... water down Milo. No, man, same one. The same dried, dried thing where usually the tea for, like you say, I'm going to eat it out of our hand, in you know, the can or whatever. They still sell that in a supermarket. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, so to... you think I mark me a market? I really yes. proper Milo this me a drink. Well, good for you, your Milo. But here... <laughs> here's a joke, too. You know, so I can't drink hot tea in the morning. Not that I can't. I, mean, I like drink hot tea in the morning. Why? I have to drink something cold. And when I get up, the first thing I drink is like water, cold water. I don't know. I don't know. I drink cold I, water. I, I don't know if anybody else do that. Me, a lot of people may, but I know Jamaica people are avid tea drinkers because they drink tea for everything and they sun. If them too are hot, mm. they go outside and draw some bush simmer and sip it and drink it. Not true. Yeah, me think that I stem from the people who come from England. I, I think so <laughs> I could too. be wrong. <laughs> it could, yeah, but yeah. It, them drink tea for everything. All when your man left you, Jamaican people tell you, say, <laughs> go boil the search, me add tea. Wait three days and it will come back. <laughs> So, <laughs> if anybody out there listening to this podcast and drink that tea that right now, please send us a comment and let us know if the man really come back. Let us know. Yes, if it works. <laughs> we just love tea and more so bush tea. So, we, Sean and I, are not medical doctors, but based on our cultural upbringing, and again, the amount of tea that we used to drink or we liquor, we feel like we have a little bit of knowledge. So, make we get started. So, the first tea. Yeah, this, just to clear to, like you said, we're not doctors. This is just to help out the kids that are here, Jamaicans that are here, mm-hmm. who want to keep the Jamaican tradition away from Jamaica. And might I forget, because know enough people remember stuff, because they might have tell me about stuff. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, we can get started. Yeah, man, or just detoxing in general. The first tea we have a mint or peppermint tea. Now, this is different from the traditional US peppermint tea we want to drink at Christmas time. This is the tea that them call the gas buster. Like when you have a proper gas in your <laughs> stomach and you want to belch it off, <laughs> peppermint tea. Okay, you eat that with two XLC water crackers, good to go. Right? So hold on, that's the little, that's the one where we usually pick off for the ground because it grow low, right? Yeah, man, it grow low. And you have different type of peppermint, you know, you have the broad leaf, you have some little, little leaf one, different, different type of peppermint. And you just dry it mm-hmm. and think, no, Sean, tell mm-hmm. people what draw mean. Because a lot of people might not understand what the word draw mean. And not the draw where you draw, use your hand and draw, or draw where you put your clothes or your panty them into. This is a different type of draw. Tell the people what draw mean. Uh, are you talking about a draw when you smoke? Oh God! No, we are talking about draw the tea. We're talking about oh, you draw leaf. Explain to the people there because people might not know what you mean by draw. All right. So, how this work is, you get a pot, you pour some water in the pot, put the pot on the stove, turn it on, and drop the lean in. Mm-hmm. The water will draw the tea for you. Are that theater? Something like that. But you have to like, explain to the people. Me like how you put me on the spot. <laughs> I hope that, that was a good explanation. Me can't go no better than that. Something <laughs> similar to that, Sean. But you have to explain to them, say, when you draw, that means you are putting the pot and make it seep a little bit and seep a little bit and seep a little bit. You can't just drink tea just so, you know, you have to wait till it seep out properly. Them always say, wait 15 minutes, then you drink it. We like to drink. No, tea, sir. And so it's supposed to go. Right away. Mm-mm. Yeah. No. Even though I'm gonna really drink much hot in the morning, if I do drink it, I just boil that. 
And when it's done boil, me take it, put sugar in it, onion, whatever, stir it up and drink it. You still a boil till you use microwave. Minutes. Talk it through that Jesus love. You use microwave. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> add, add to the next topic. Cersei. <laughs> Cersei bitters are the next one. That one here. Let me tell you something. This is what we call bush tea. All right. And them have a scientific name for it named made in apple. So maybe another country or some part of the world may refer to it as made in apple, but we call it Cersei bitters. And it is, as the name said, it bitter very what bitter. what is it what is the name of the fruit you remember the fruit what grew up on a service we used to love that it was like oh, yellow with the red ar- seed orange we something to with the seed it. in it yeah orange orange yellow yeah yeah I that matter really we used to don't love know what that. that name is but the people can tell me because i'm telling them we used to see because it run on like um like fence and stuff because i see it here in florida it run on fence and then I don't mm-hmm. really pop it open now but growing up yes Mr. pop open the, the orange thing or a yellow or whatever and the red seed and just start eat it so yeah i used to eat that but we know Cersei. yeah we know Cersei as one of, it's like a it's like a blood cleanser um a lot of people mm-hmm. with diabetes will drink it the maroon descendants you know believe that anything mother nature create can drink and i'm a firm believer so, as well so back in the days what we used to do we used to know some people used to burn weed hard so them that forgot the blood te- um blood work or whatever. So mm-hmm. we usually sell them the Cersei bush and yeah. tell them say your bridging. Yeah, we never tell them say Cersei. We just dry it up, put it in a some little bag and say, yo, this will help clean clean out your blood, drink it. Oh, and tell them, say, you pass the test. Yeah. Oh not me per se, but I was going to ask to do because I back. don't know you have a cer- <laughs> <laughs> did not know that you did that on your past time. <laughs> me never knew no, that. No, ma'am, no. Uh-uh. Me a good youth, man. You know, your school me used to go, me used to go fast. <clears throat> me not really me know used to no go about that. Road. Me a good, good youth. <laughs> <laughs> me no know no about that, but I'm going to talk a little bit more Cersei. Now, Cersei is also good for eczema, skin rashes, um, and again, for diabetes. Now, I remember when I was growing up, and... You know, when you have that like a summer holiday thing there, you yam everything, you got country and yam country food. And you see that Friday there before September morning, where you're supposed to go to school, my mother used to boil Cersei and say, Come, we are purge you. I'm like, What? What do you mean by? It? Yeah, man, we are purge you. And then normally people would have put a little sugar in a Cersei. My mother gave it to me raw and straight. Yeah. Clean yes, you up. Yes. <laughs> clean you up. Your mother used to do that to you. Clean. Oh, yes, man. Them sure by it. Them Wash sure by it. So, yes. This, Wash out. Yeah, this I got to take care of. You're good. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then, no, I think nowadays, them really stopping parents from doing that. But me, remember, every Friday before September, the man in school to start. Sir, see me, I'm a little brother after drink. Every Friday, I'm going to tell you that's something that. The, the Cersei nowadays is not bitter like the Cersei back then. Them the Cersei they did properly different. So that is Cersei. The next tea on the list is fever grass tea. And again, the name suggests exactly what it is. Fever grass. I know my dad has a whole bunch of it in the backyard. And whenever I start to feel like him, I get a like a sick, like a flu, cold, him dry it. Again, the definition of draw. Him boil it and him drink it and him say yes it help with the fever flu whatever whatever ailment you're feeling that coming on especially in this corona corona season i believe fever grass mm. tea will help <laughs> yeah man fever grass take me not about it in a yeah. fever grass and again fever grass is help to keep the blood pressure down according to yeah. um me, you know what's funny though me never know about fever grass till me come here yeah I probably was getting it, yeah, but I never knew of it, yeah. No, oh, man. Because when I come here, that's when I come across of it. Um, the reason I'm a laugh about the corona thing, nobody know why I sneeze now. Everybody <laughs> rather fart than sneeze, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just sneeze or cough, you know, problem. Listen, drinking this tea again, we are no medical doctor, scientists, but may I tell you, oh, just try it. Just try it and see if it will work. <laughs> and again, if you drink it and it work, oh, big way up and let me know, no? Let's make it know. Mm-hmm. All right. The and next also, tea. So the uh, fever, the f- sorry, not cut you. The fever grass uh-huh. is good for um, blood pressure. Yes, yes. They mentioned yes. at all, yeah, that, right? It's good that. for yeah, blood yeah, pressure. Yeah, Keep yeah. the blood pressure down and thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. We need that now, cowboy. Everybody's stressed out. Not true. Mm. Mm. 
I'm going to tell you. 2020 need for hurry up and pass. I'm telling you, hopefully 2021 is better. The next tea is called Bissy or Cola Nut. No, this is another one of them bitter tea there. And Bissy is pretty much used for tummy and poison. And you know what the word name? Do you know no. what it mean by tummy and poison? Yes, ma'am. I think that is when you get poisoned by food. <laughs> No, well, you have to explain <laughs> a little bit further because how me come to understand to me and poison is when you open up a tin mackerel and you eat half of the tin mm-hmm. mackerel and leave half of the, you eat half of the tin mackerel and leave half of it still into the tin. And you stick... No, man. Yes. That's when some people say, some people say that cause it, but I think even if you open it up sometime, because I guess like if it punch or something and you never see it. Mm-hmm. You still will get the two million poison from it. I could be wrong, but yeah. that's what I mean. Once it's it in the can, mm. I always hear them say, no, take it out of the can, you will catch two million poison. I mean, I said, catch two million poison. We never really quite understood what two million poison is. But again, this is good for that. It, it helps with that. It also helps with the the metabolism. It can increase your metabolism Them say as much as 180%. Again, I don't know. It also helps with intestinal problem, And then this one here, no, Sean. Now, I think that one will help you. It helps with male impotence. That one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like me need to drink it. Cops. Me pull out game week. Listen, <laughs> like listen, listen. Talk, drink talk, talk <laughs> clean for the people them show up, please. Listen, <laughs> male impotence. Hear what the people them say. <laughs> Men have utilized BC as a remedy. And again, they say it is used to stimulate blood flow. So whether or not you have this condition, impotence, even if you don't have it, I still believe that it's still beneficial for you to drink because again, if it improves blood flow, it can't kill you if you improve the blood flow some more, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of these stuff still good for you because it's good for detox the body. Mm-hmm. Trust me, I'm tell you, it's good for detox the body mm-hmm. and get rid of stuff where in the, where inside your body needs to come out. Like me and my brethren, we love to talk about this all the while. It's like you eat these food while they process. Mm-hmm. The body don't know what to do with it. Sometimes mm-hmm. you just sit down in there for how long. Because mm-hmm. them say, well, meat staying in for like three months or something like that. Red meat, depending on what type. So mm-hmm. it's always good for take them little thing, yeah? detox, wash mm-hmm. out, and clear mm-hmm. clear the body. Cleanse mm-hmm. the body properly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And mm-hmm. them also say in, in going along with the male impotence, it helped in the treating of prostate cancer. So again... I, it can't hurt mm. if you feel like you feel like you know you have a problem go ahead and get you some busy and you know now them have them in a um in a like a tea bag for my come go to look at store them i'll see them in a tea bag so i don't know how strong they are then but you know you might want to put two tea bags together you're not really sure mm. but that... i think it's like a teaspoon or so you use per no, cup. Sir. look here now yeah. when my mother gave me the Cersei. And then a teaspoon when I get she dry the old bush, put, put it in the pot and seep it down. So again, <laughs> the stronger the better. Again, I don't know. I don't know. The next thing it do, this is busy. we're still on, is respiratory disorder. So that are your people with your asthma, your bronchitis, any little respiratory. Another thing busy mm. can help with is migraines. And I can't tell you how many people suffer from migraines, Sean. So again, try it out mm. and see. And last lot, a lot of men. Mm-hmm. Let me not go there. Yeah, a lot of people suffer from men. Thank you, please. Thank you so very much. <laughs> and then this is also good for the mental well-being. And right now, again, everybody mind all over the place. For me, I job from last week. I became a top job. I think I need some busy. But me tell, me tell you already what that mean. Me tell you so that means say you gotta see somebody. Ask anybody in the crowd. Anytime you hire a jump, they might ask you at the right or the left. Yeah, okay, see somebody so this one at the right eye, it a jump, 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 jump. And I don't understand where it a jump. Yeah. Go. All right. Yeah, see, yeah, see somebody. Yeah, see somebody in a city for a long Somebody time. good or somebody what? bad. Which one? Because it depends. Why? Me can't tell you, because know, me and an Astradamus. We just have to tell you how the thing set up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it looks like me need some busy tea for drink, because it depends on who we're going to nah, see. No, nah, you need to you need prepare yourself for who you're going to see. Lord Jesus, may I get nervous now because I know any anybody me so, want to see right so, now. So hold on there, real talk, real talk. Who for heart you broke recently? Um, hello, I don't break heart, you know. 
<laughs> you're, you're, I don't break <laughs> hearts. I make hearts. What's wrong with you? Nobody. <laughs> you make heart. You make uh, You make hearts broken. <laughs> no. Uh, look here. Don't twist my words, please. I don't break hearts. No. I'm, I'm a loving person. You know. Come on. Shame on you. Shame all right, on all right. you. Come, come, and come. Before you make lightning, like the two hours. <laughs> <laughs> then lastly mental well-being again all right the next t on the list and i think you know you may know a lot more about this than me is the ganja tea mm -hmm. uh-huh and the ganja tea have overall health benefits so it relaxes you it have a lot yes it, it, re lot. it relaxes yeah. you um it help with sleep apnea is a pain reducer, especially for cancer patients. And I know this to be true because um, I've had friends that had cancers and this is some of the things that them take and it said, help them with the pain, you know, whatever ailments they're right. having, you know, people with I, um, arthritis, here, same thing. Here's something where a lot of people don't even know. And this I can reference, it come from Psychology Today. Come, you know, you have them people out there talk about, all right, so where's your reference? Mm -hmm. Psychologytoday.com. Go there and go search it up. It also helps with Alzheimer's disease. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of people say, really? Mm -hmm. Alzheimer's? Yeah, mm -hmm. it helps with Alzheimer's disease. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trust me. So people, people, don't sleep on the ganja tea. I'm telling you, it mm -hmm. might be beneficial. It, I think it somebody overall... says about, about condensed milk. You, oh, you, you mix it with condensed milk. Some people just dry it and drink it. Like put a little bit of no, sweet because... there. No, it's, yeah, it's almost like you're yeah, sweetened regular tea with sugar or honey. It's just that, yeah, you use the condensed milk. I remember this. Well, for my family, I mean, no, enough Jamaica, they probably still do, still do it till this day. It's mm. like put condensed milk, like you're all in mint tea. That wicked. That tastes real nice. Condensed, condensed milk, milk in mint tea? Mint tea? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, but, yes. I mean, why would you put... It's not Milo. <laughs> it's not Milo. Yo, it's I'm not Orlix. <laughs> it, we put I forget I wish <laughs> my father got some restaurant um I must say more beer or something and he marks the condensed milk and him say you put condensed milk in a tea. <laughs> in a tea. <laughs> and he won't forget loud pan them out there. Yes, me know oh, say no only we wanted that. Yeah, well I wanna come from not looking at the people town. know most of that. Uh-uh, town come from. Spanish town. Town ma come from. Spanish town. Uh-uh. Tell the people straight up and down. Spanish town. Me no know the people them are Spanish town. Our town that put condensed milk into them ganja tea. Yeah, man. Me no know that one. That one they're different. It helps to give it a nice flavor. But for real though, check it out. If you know, Most of the things I always tell everybody, you know, once you not talk to me, you know, hear me talk some things. But best believe, Go research it on your own. You'll find it. Okay. Well, that looks like my brother. Yeah, so it helps with Alzheimer's disease. Okay. Right. So what I'm, what I'm recommended to do is like ages 30 to 60, mm -hmm. start drinking the tea. If mm -hmm. you know, say, your family have that in them bloodline, they mm -hmm. recommend doing that. But before you jump on and do that, go research it. No, before you, you do that. You see one and two people uh -uh. knocking it, of course. You're going to get checked out first at the doctor first. And then if the doctor say you're good and clear, go ahead and sup a tea. It can't hurt. It cannot hurt at all. Again, what the maroon said, the maroon said, if the Lord plant it, if the Lord give it, all you do, you boil it and drink it. Trust me, firm believer, dear. The next tea, and this is something that I try to consume at least two times a week, is ginger tea. It helps with digestion. Mm -hmm increasing the absorption of food it can help you to you know release bloating it's also an anti-inflammatory um very very ideal you know like when sometimes you cook curry and then say make sure you put the ginger mm. in it um I, I would say why oh because it won't upset your stomach same thing with the ginger tea so if you have no oh, ginger that's right uh, yeah and me not cut you, me here ginger in a curry. Jesus Christ. You know how much time you <laughs> dip in it and things are meat? Yo, I hear that something, man. Y yes. Oh, oh. But it's supposed to help you with the stomach. So again, you're not supposed to have no upset stomach. Yeah, but mm -hmm. take it, take it out. Take it out. You're not going to remember which part the, the ginger mm, then. Nah, no, sir, treat and take it out. No, sir, sir that's your business. Just treat. Like it. <laughs> it's good that for I think you. what I like to just, just step off track a little bit is time. Why not always have to have the branch in it, in other food? <laughs> time give flavor. No, real talk. It That's something they bother me. 
Time give flavor, but anyway, we're not talking about no, that. We're not talking about branch. actually time is one of the is one of the tea that we're gonna talk about. The next tea, and this is pretty pretty you know famous around you know the Caribbean, Jamaica. It's just all time chocolate tea. Um, most of the Milo? time you see <sighs> Milo, <laughs> Milo, Alex. No, the real chocolate from the real cocoa. You know the cocoa plant. So cocoa. Cocoa. So cocoa tea. Yes. Chocolate tea, yes, that we normally mm. drink on a Sunday day time, you know, the big exquisite breakfast. And then say chocolate tea, you know, when you drink it, it allows you to be um feel a little bit more fuller throughout the day. So before you eat at brunch or your dinner. So I guess that's where chocolate tea come into play. This one here now, wow. I me know everybody know that one here. That one year, orange peel tea. Yeah. Everybody what I know for? that. Listen. Orange I mean, no, peel tea is, good for? is upset stomach and belly ache. So growing up, you know, in Jamaica, you have this whole grill and we call them burglar bar here. My mother used to peel every orange she have and she peel them and fling them on the grill if it dry. And then when them dry now, whenever anybody feeling kind of upset or any little indigestion problem, she boil the orange peel and then you drink it. She might sweeten it a little bit. This one is not as bad as the others. It is a little bit more, you know, softer on the palate because again, they put sugar or, mm -hmm. you know, some type of sweetener in there. I also see a lot of natural parents that, you know, them, them no want to give them kids what they call it Pedialyte. So what them do them boil yeah. a little bit of the, the orange peel and put it in the little bottle and give it to the baby then. So they won't have any belly problem. So that's orange mm. peel tea. Yes. So you must try it for your little daughter someday. Okay, we'll try. She already gets in that to be exa um Oh yeah. Exactly. Dear. Yeah, she hmm. drink that. They think you're Americanized, but okay, let's keep going. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we mean a public. Yes, listen. Oh, so what's up yeah. tea? So what's up leaf tea? Uh -huh. This too uh -huh. is supposed to help with the male prostate. And also with the nervous problems. So at least we're supposed to drink Sean because the way the eye are drunk yeah. right about now. <laughs> I saw us at me. I tell you already <laughs> said I now jump for no reason other than me. I got to see somebody. Well, somebody I got to see. Between that, the TD and this, the TD, I forgot to drink the two of them to see if it will stop because I can't take it away for jumping, jumping. Whoever is coming, it or I'll uh, come now. <laughs> <laughs> also, too. <laughs> also, too. It helped um, them claim. Them claim again, say it helped cure cancer. Oh yeah, you know so I think Yeah, I you remember? I think like back that, in yeah. yeah, back in the days, the um Jamaican doctor they come out and say sour sap was um good for cancer and whatever. And right after that, sour sap gone to seven dollar a pound or something like that. You know the story, my friend. You forget? Me never, me never did hear that. So I guess me forgot research. Yeah, why well, I think sour day. sap expensive? And you see so much sour sap juice now. Mm -hmm. That was the reason time come out and say, yeah, sour sap help with that. Oh, oh wow. Funny so see, we shall take that stone dog. I'll pongonat. Mm. Uh, I think the yeah. word is pomegranate. <laughs> pomegranate is not a pongonat. Listen, where we're going at the store, we say, hi, hello, can you please show me where the pongonat is? And I'm like, um, what? Sorry, pomegranate. So please, these are some of the things that we have to learn. That's another podcast. The things that were the things that were we know in Jamaica when we come here is a different thing. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. We're supposed to be proud of our language. We we are it's proud. A language. Nobody ever no, said Nobody tell us a di dialect is a language. It is a mm. language. All right. The next Tea and it named it named Pangana. Pangana. Mm, so, okay, the next tea we have here, and I, you were you talked about it, but in cooking, the next tea we have is the thyme leaf tea. And pretty much all we know about the thyme leaf tea is it helps to induce labor. My sister, my mother, my cousin, everybody, every time they have baby and the baby overdue them, said, just go drink the little thyme leaf, man, and bring down the labor. So again, family, mm -hmm. if we're out there and we're trying to have on a baby. And time, I want to just tie that have a baby on the belly. Time leaf tea. I'll make we know if it work. Please. The next tea. Leaf of life, Sean. You know that one there? No, you have to educate me upon the one there. Leaf, leaf of life. Leaf. The most I said, you see me tell you now. You remember me tell you said bull be in a country, cause half of them something I mean no. That's shame, anyway. shame on you. Leaf of life, it helped to strengthen the immune system. <laughs> we used to have the trium, and remember, my father used to kind of mash it a little bit. Um, it's also mm. good for colds 
um, asthma or congestion. So people out there who don't have an asthma problem, again, we're in a corona time when we look for natural remedies, you know, take a look at these things. So good for again, colds and congestion or even asthma, bronchitis. So take advantage of that. All right. The next tea we have here is yeah. the Moringa tea. Go ahead. No, no, I'm just say leaf of life. Yeah, leaf of life. It's not one of the ones them that you hear quite often now. But back then, when I was growing up, leaf of life was one of the things that you, you hear people talk about a lot. Um, okay. So yeah moringa tea i think this one is is i want to say new on the scene but it's not really new on the scene i only started to hear about it when i came here i wasn't familiar with moringa until i came here and moringa helps to fight cancer and just overall well-being so i have some downstairs because when um i was looking for new herbs to try and i kept seeing moringa moringa you have it in the pill format you have it in the powder i have the powder that i get at little jamaican store down the road some moringa tea mm. good for overall so if you just want a dose of tea for drink because you just want to drink a tea try moringa all right mm. the next tea we have here um is called dog blood dog blood yes dog yeah blood. I, I that many of you're not dog blood before listen and i had a few people I asked the question to them, say, yeah, man, we know all about dog blood and otherwise known as the fertility bush. Lord, ladies, okay. ladies, if you're out there and you're struggling with fertility, see the bush here for you. Now, I went online, I went on, you know, certain websites, pulled it up and they had it. It's a little bit pricey. And again, when you get dry up, bush, you don't really know whether or not that's how it's supposed to look. So me, I always say, <laughs> me rather go at the, the place, go pick up my own bush. But they have them in the store. So again, dog blood, fertility issues. So if you're having, you know. So they call it fertility bush. Fertility bush. So if you're having menstrual problems, ladies out there, um, most importantly, if you want to unblock your fallopian tubes, and that's another podcast to Sean, because a lot of us women, black women here, uh, we're noticing that we're having a lot of fertility issues. And sometimes, you know, they might give you these little Western medicines and them not really work. And what the first thing them tell you, oh, I better come to in vitro fertilization. How much money? That? <laughs> no. Holy no, pa money. <laughs> A mm -hmm. holy pa mm -hmm. money. When you find, find back on the route, guarantee you ask somebody, grandmother, they will tell you exactly what to do. Because she have 13 picnics, so she's schooling a lot. Your grandmother have 13 picnics? At mine. You never oh. meet no Jamaican people who have 13. Um, yeah, my grandmother, my, so okay. you said, should I drink the dog, the dog, the dog blood? <laughs> yeah, we tell you exactly what for though. Yeah, they might drink the dog blood. No man. <laughs> you know your grandmother was a freak if she had Oh my gosh, I'm do sorry. not talk about my grandparents, please. Do not talk about my grandmother. But no, <laughs> but no, I am being so serious. A lot of times we sit there and you don't know where to go. There are so many medicines out there. Um but again, look to some of these herbs. Again, they, they're here. Them have use. Every time you go and say, they see one bush and you say, I wonder what they're good for. I don't know, you know? And then sometimes they're like, oh, okay. Me never know so that it's good for. Okay. I'm glad, I'm glad for no, no. So again, we're just bringing this to your, to your rememory. Because we know <laughs> these things, you know, we know these things, but we come and we forget. And then, you know, when the crisis leak, we were like, right, to the wish bush. So again, we're here well, we to highlight. To this. Mm. Yeah. We're here to highlight these things for you guys. So yes. So that is the last T on our list. There is probably others. What out about there. your raspberry? You, you you brought up raspberry. Oh, bush. red raspberry leaf. And I was kind of confused raspberry. because I don't know if red raspberry and dark blood are the kind of the same thing. I keep they're one and the same. But um, mm. I know a lot of women drink that, again, for fertility issues and also menstrual problem. Red raspberry tea leaf or just raspberry tea leaf. So and you can get those All also right. in so, the container. We have to make it clear, right? So when you talk about the menstrual stuff and, you know, thing like that for the woman, 
Mm-hmm. You know, so I really can't say much in that conversation. I just want to make you know. See, I forgot to bring on a guest. Yeah, man. We're gonna have, trust me, we're going to have a guest that explain all of this. Somebody with a with, with one title. I'll teach. You're not going to teach me. Somebody with one title with MD behind them name or something. Or even a, a herbal okay, okay. specialist. With, you don't know. But again, ladies and gentlemen, these are the teas that, you know, were pretty much popular. Some of them no, are not be so nice familiar. If, but... Sir, it'd be nice if we can find a bush doctor. I may have several, may have plenty. Proper, so proper we're going to bring out somebody. We're going to bring out somebody yeah. on there uh, to clarify. So again, thanks for listening. Until next time, peace and blessings. Yes, and let's take time and let's gossip, right? So see you next time to the Gossip Podcast. We're going to gossip now. <laughs>